Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Today we're looking at this, which is the Walrus ACS-1. And you might be thinking, this isn't a new unit. This has been out for quite some time. Well, Walrus Audio have completely overhauled this unit and it's now in version two and it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> When I reviewed the ACS-1 last time, I thought it was a great sounding amp processor or amp simulator, but my only gripe about it was that it needed more gain. It sounded absolutely fantastic. It sounded authentic and all that sort of stuff. But as a unit that I would want to take out live, I would have wanted more gain from it. And that's one of the main updates that Wars Audio have done. For those of you that don't know what the ACS-1 is, I'll just go through all of the different features on it and then we'll talk about what's been updated to version two. So as before, we've got three different amplifiers. We've got your Fullerton, which is like your Fender Deluxe. Next, we've got the London amp, which is your Marshall Blues Breaker. Now already you'll be hearing more gain than we got from the last unit. I'm gonna go over that a little bit more in a minute. And last of all, we've got our Dartford, which is our AC30. The next switch over is to choose between what amp comes out of what output. Now we've got two outputs here, so we've got a stereo output and we can have this as a really wide sound where we can have one amplifier over one side and another amplifier over the other side. Let me just demonstrate that. There's quite a few pedals out there at the moment where you can get an emulation of say like a Deluxe or an AC30. There's a couple that have come out fairly recently. But the great thing about this pedal is you've got everything built in. So you've actually got the choice of all those different amplifiers. And what we can do here as well is to choose different presets by pushing down the two buttons here. So we've got three separate presets that we can use. The next thing that's been completely overhauled are all of the IRs. Now you can load in your own IRs, but what Walrus Audio have done with version two is they've teamed up with Tone Factor and there's two completely new IRs per amplifier. If I go back to one amplifier, what we can do is to choose between all of those different IRs by this switch here. And then we can choose other IRs by holding down the bypass switch and switching. The whole point of the ACS-1 is that you pair it with other units so you can have a reverb and a delay afterwards, which is exactly what I'm doing, and you can put dry pedals before it. So the whole point of the ACS-1 originally was that you took it out as like a pedal platform, as a clean 
pedal platform and then you added pedals before it. But because we've got so much more gain in this now, you can actually just take this out now and just use the unit on its own. So what I'll do is just quickly demonstrate the amount of gain that we've now got with the three different amps. So let's start with the Fender amp. The Marshall. And now the Dartford, which is based on the AC30. But it does take pedals so well. So if I move it over to the Marshall tone. And then I add a fuzz pedal before it. It pairs with pedals really, really well. Now, if you've already got an ACS-1, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can update your unit to version two. So the first thing you need to do is to go to walrus.io slash devices and plug in your ACS-1 via USB. Click on the pedal icon and then click on firmware. Mine's already been updated to version two, but if you click down here where it says select and then just click on version two. So there you go. Now, as I said before, if you were thinking about buying an ACS one before and it didn't have enough game for you, this has completely changed the game. It turns it into a complete Swiss army knife of guitar tone. So you could actually just turn up to a recording session or a gig and have everything covered. Now also with the fact you've got the boost button here where you can have your clean sound and then turning into your lead sound, it just makes an incredibly useful pedal to have on your pedal board. Now, if you got something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio at. So I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.